Hi loves, it's Dr. Jack of all trades and welcome back to my channel. This is another weekly vlog wherein I share my quest to find joie de vie, the joy of life. So guys, it's Sunday morning and I'm up early because I'm waiting on a FedEx package. But look at this. It was legit 80 degrees the day before. Today it is 30 degrees and it is sleeting. It is a mess outside. That's the Louisiana weather for you. You gotta love it. Hey, we just dress in layers and keep it kicking. But it is actually sleeting and there are a few snow flurries in the forecast. <laughs> And I told you I was waiting on a FedEx package, right? Well, take a look at this. Yes, that is a huge trench in my dry, in my yard. And it's all courtesy of this kind and careless FedEx driver right here. You guys, I just don't understand how you could tear up somebody's lawn like that so carelessly. And you know what? I stayed out to watch and make sure that he didn't go back over my yard. And yep, you guessed it. He went right back in the grass. And this time I caught him red-handed. I mean, come on. And had I not been standing out here, it would have been much worse. Because he would not have stopped right there and backed up. Whew, woosa. You guys, I'm trying to find joie de vie, the joy of life. But uh, yeah, sometimes it's a little trying and a little hard. And so the next day I went out to get some more uh, footage for insurance purposes and you guys, it's, it was worse than what I thought. The trench is so deep and so long. I'm like, wow. <sighs> and we worked so hard to get our lawn to grow. Ooh, honey, let me go count to 10 and calm my nerves. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Oh, let's get out this driveway. This is making me look like a bumblebee. You guys, in our quest to live more abundantly, to love ourselves more, and to really experience joie de vie, I have decided that I am indeed going to file a claim for the nearly 20 foot, actually 20 plus foot trench that the FedEx driver placed in my yard. Let me put on a little lip balm because my lips are ashy and it is chilly today. My hands look a little ashy too. got to do that but yes you guys so the FedEx driver has been repeatedly driving through my lawn FedEx ground that is not FedEx Express it's been FedEx ground and I am like wow guys <sighs> you guys just really don't care do you you're just gonna run all over this yard like that doesn't cost money to fix I mean, how careless can you be? Oh, so for my own sanity and my pocketbook, I'm gonna file a claim <laughs> and we're just gonna see what happens. Y'all have a good one, bye-bye. Yeah, so after all of that, I felt like cooking absolutely nothing. So I made myself a little meat and cheese, little charcuterie board type situation. And for my charcuterie board, I'm going to use this Terrapin Ridge Farms uh, Blueberry Bourbon Pecan Jam Cheese Topper. Oh my goodness. This uh, tastes so good. It came in a gift bag um, that I got for Christmas. Someone uh, gave me a gift uh, bag. It had some chocolate flavored pretzels, not chocolate covered, chocolate flavored, which was interesting. And um, this uh, jam came with it. It 
was delicious with the pretzels. And so I decided to try with my charcuterie board for one. And um, it was equally as delicious. Hey, you don't have to have uh, a million people over to treat yourself to something elegant. And to make sure I stayed in a good mood, I ended the night with Sing. Hello, hello, hello. Well, hello, YouTube family. How are you all doing on this beautiful day? I hope everyone is doing well. I hope that you are um, striving to live an abundant life. That's what we... That's what our goal is, right? To strive for an abundant, fulfilled life. So I hope that's what's happening. I'm headed out to uh, mail a package. I'm looking for my lotion right now. But I'm headed to mail a package uh, for my son's birthday, which is right around the corner. And so I want to mail him a package, mail him a gift. Uh, that was way too much lotion. <laughs> but I'm going to mail him a gift and uh, hopefully it gets to him in time. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. What are you guys doing today? I'm doing well. I, got, I am... Uh, finishing my purge my uh, annual winter purge I'm finishing that um, in my closet um, y'all I pulled out so much stuff just crap wait I gotta show you what I mean y'all my closet it has so much stuff I'm showing you this this is stuff that I've taken out of my closet that can't fit back in it's kind of dark in here I know but this bed is filled with things, right, that can't fit in my closet anymore. Let me try to open this curtain so that you guys can really see all of this stuff. And I want to keep it all, but this bed is just covered. You can't even see what the bed looks like. It's just covered with items that I want to keep. Nowhere to put them in my closet. This is a closet of mine. That is, let me turn this off. This is a closet of mine that's, it's filled. This is in the guest bedroom, filled with coats and jackets and boots and shoes and just all sorts of stuff and scarves all the way up to the ceiling, just all sorts of stuff. That's one closet. Let me show you another closet then I have this closet in my office that is also filled <laughs> that is also filled with stuff I don't know if you can even tell but it's filled with all sorts of stuff clothes and jackets and at the top up there all the hair and things and then we have hats and I even have my daughter's um, their formal gowns. My battery died. So this is the main closet in my bathroom. So I have cleaned it out quite a bit. Um, I mean, you couldn't even <laughs> see the floor, I'm ashamed to say. But yeah, I've cleaned it out quite a bit. I can't get a wide enough angle on my camera for you guys to see. But yeah, I've gotten rid of a lot of my um, boxes, um, packaging, because I need the space. So I'm thinking about either selling all of those boxes or putting them someplace else. I don't know. Y'all see this? I keep this little sachet of, um, what are these called? Um, the little fabric, the things. I just keep it sitting there because it keeps my closet smelling so nice and fresh. I like that smell. But anywho, so I have everything in here. I try to, uh, I'm trying to keep everything um, in place. It's just, it, it, it needs work. I'm, I need to have this closet redone. And that is on the agenda to have it redone. This wall here. 
I'm thinking about having it knocked out because on the other side of that wall is another closet. It's my husband's closet. And so unfortunately, I'm going to have to take that from him. <laughs> I'm going to have to take that closet from him. And um, he can have one of the other closets in the back to put his things. Because he also has a couple closets in here too. So yeah, but yeah, this is, um, yeah, going to redo all of that. Let me back up a little bit. So this is El Closito. This is the main closet. And I have a, a chest in here that I keep things in. I need to clean off the top of that and figure out what I'm gonna do with all of that stuff. I have um, like gloves and jewelry in here get my Fendi earrings just sitting there I need to put them in something <sighs> yep cleaning out my closet I found all these masks <laughs> why were they in there I don't know but I found all of these masks in there so I could start using them. Some of them are old. So, yep. These are some more boxes and packaging that I'm going to just have to get rid of. Yep, it looks a mess, huh? All of this came out of my closet. I have bags of, like, scarves and... These are all of like luxury packaging that I had in my closet. Um, just boxes of things that I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to have to just, um, I don't know what I'm going to have to do with it. I really don't know. Um, I had bags of hair. I had so much hair, like braiding hair and all that kind of stuff. Um, but as far as the boxes, like I even have some vintage uh, Louis Vuitton. Like when I got my very first Louis Vuitton bag, when it was in the brown packaging, um, like, oh gosh, when did I get that? Maybe 15 years ago, 20? Oh gosh, it's been a long time. But anyway, um, there is a market for these. I could actually sell this stuff uh, online. Oh, it's just such a mess, though. Oh, my God. But you guys are going to see the transformation. This is my office, and this is a painting. I don't know if I've shown you this painting that my son did, but I'm going to redo this office. It's going to be amazing. Um, yeah, so it's 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 a mess right now. I have two computers on my desk. Ah, it's, it's terrible. I love my little office chair, though. Isn't that the cutest chair? But anywho, I'm going to redo this office and you guys will see the transformation. It's going to be beautiful. But first, we got to figure out what we're going to do with all this. And I'll take you along as we decide. Got kids stuff, sweaters that I need to throw away, just all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So I got, I'll take you guys along on the journey. This is real, y'all. Real, real, real. <laughs> and I look at my closet and I look at how full it still is. And it just really you know, brought home the fact that I have too much stuff that I do not need. Like this lotion on my hands, just excess. But yeah, I have so much stuff in my closet. It just nailed home or brought home the fact that I have way too much stuff. I have too much stuff in my closet. I have stuff that I don't need. I mean, I am in need of nothing. And that is the God honest truth. I am in need of nothing. And I need to really, you know, do better. I got to do better. It doesn't make any sense that I live a life of excess the way that I do. But 
what is it that causes me to want to accumulate stuff? I'm joking, but I'm, I'm serious. Why am I accumulating all of these things? I see these things. Well, I know what it is. It's because I can. Now I can. I mean, if I see something and I want it, I could buy it if I wanted to. You know, the I could figure out how to get it out, you know. So, but anyway, I'm going to get off here because I don't have anything to talk about right now. And I don't want to waste your time. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. I'll see you later. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I am in my bathroom where I'm usually at because I enjoy being in my new bathroom. Y'all know how much I, I enjoy that. I um, got it redone. If you haven't seen those vlogs, I encourage you to go uh, and look at those vlogs. Look at, you know, me getting my bathroom redone. I have a little cut on my pinky finger and I'm going to put a bandage on it so that's what I'm doing right now but yeah how y'all doing I'm gonna um I came in here to straighten up a little bit but I wanted I saw I had left out these products and I said you know I don't think I took I mentioned anything about these products so I'm gonna go ahead and mention them now let me get my bandage on so I picked up um some products, some new hair products. Because if you remember, I said I was going to lay off of the braids. You know, I've worn either individual braids or the faux locks. I did that for pretty much the majority of 2021. And so what I want to do this year is give my hair a break from that because, you know, it can be, braids and locks can be a protective style, but if for me, and I'm speaking just for me, if I do it too much, that weight, the weight of that hair pulling down on my natural hair, it, it's just not good. It's, it's too much weight. It thins and weakens my hair. And I noticed that I did have a little bit of breakage after that. And so I'm just going to take some time and really nourish and baby my hair. I will continue wearing wigs like the one I have on now because I can take this off every night. Uh, nourish my scalp, massage my scalp. I can comb my hair, rebraid it, make sure my ends are good. All of that, I can do that well wearing a wig. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna show you some products that I got. And I will, you know, I do wear my natural hair periodically. I'll wear it um, straightened, but I think I'm gonna kind of lay off of even straightening it so much. I think I'm gonna just kind of let the curls be as they are, honey, the, in all of their 4C glory. All right, so these are some of the products that I picked up. I picked up the products by Gar Gabrielle Union. Let me get my glasses so I can see uh, what I have here. So I picked up some products from her Flawless line. This is not sponsored, so I'm not gonna be showing you everything, but I will kind of give a little first impressions of them, and then I'll give you a, a, another review later after I've been using them a while. Okay, so the things that I picked up, I got a Repairing Deep Conditioning Mask, and by the way, this is, from, this is the Flawless by Gabrielle Union. Um, this is her line of products. So I got the, um, the Repairing Deep Conditioning Mask. It is infused with biotin, creatine, and rice oil complex. It hydrates and helps reduce breakage. So I got this. I also got the Hydrating Curl Refresher Spray uh, infused with Brazilian Bakuri Butter, Moringa Oil, and Healthy Shine Lilac. And this is supposed to hydrate and revitalize your curls. I've been using this on my natural hair and on the wig. And I also use this already. And so far, so good. I really like them. Uh, they smell amazing. They really, really, really smell Mm, smells good. It, it's not a strong or potent smell, but it's just a nice, clean uh, smell. So I got the Hydrating Curl Refresher. I also got this um, three-minute restoring conditioner, and it's also infused with, with, with uh, it's also infused with Brazilian Bakuri butter, 
olive oil and castor seed oil. And this is supposed to detangle and restore moisture. Uh, I use this one as well. They really smell good. I really like the smell. And one that, uh, let's see, the detangling leave-in conditioner. This worked really good for detangling. It's infused with the same Brazilian mercury butter, coconut oil, and shea butter. But anyway, this detangles, adds moisture and hydration. And uh, the one I haven't used is the smoothing dry, blow dry cream because I haven't blown my hair out. I haven't done that. Maybe later in the year, sometime much later in the year, I will use this. But this is um, infused with Brazilian Procuri butter, rice oil complex, and healthy shine li lilac, and it adds heat protection and shine. Haven't used this one yet. Now, the one that I really, really like is this restoring exotic oil treatment. I really, really like this. I used this when I washed my hair the other day and I, I can put it like, I have my hair right now in cornrows and so I can just go in and put it, you know, on the roots and massage it in really good. But when I washed my hair, I put it, I parted uh, or sectioned my hair, put it on and smoothed it from roots to tips. Um, and it is, I really like it. It's infused with moringa oil, coconut oil, and Brazilian mercury butter. This softens, adds shine, and reduces frizz. So those are the products that I picked up um, from the Flawless line. I got them all from Amazon, and they came very, very quickly within a couple days, except I think one may have taken a week or so, but I guess it came from a different place. But um, the only thing that they did not have in stock was the shampoo. And so I'm waiting to get the shampoo. So um, I've been using the Olaplex shampoo. I also have um, the, uh, what is it? The Cape, the Joyco. I have the Joyco products, Cape Hack products. So I've been using that. And so that is what I've been doing. I also, since I'm talking about stuff I picked up and I had this in here, so let me show them this. I picked up two new devotionals. My daughter, uh, Jerry J. Phillips, uh, at Jerry J. Phillips on Instagram, she um, uh, turned me on to this one, My God Today. It's 365 devotions for people who might be a little ratchet, but God knows my heart. Y'all yeah, heard people say that. This book is really good. Um, it has, of course, 365 um, devotions by Dr. Laurie Elise Groom. And let me just show you today. Uh, let's look at one of them. Like, for instance, you see what that says? January 7th. Oh. Or on January 6th, you used to call me on my cell phone late night when you need my love by Drake. They, it's all song lyrics, uh, contemporary, um, secular song lyrics, but they have, uh, it's a, she has a really, uh, great way of bringing it around to, um, you know, applying the word and using that to apply, uh, spiritual things. So it's a good book. Um, and I can't wait, uh, to really keep going with this. This is, it is really, really interesting. And it's so, uh, timely and applicable to, to today because I mean, let's face it, we don't live in a bubble. As she says in the book, we don't live in a bubble. We live in this world and we don't, and sometimes we hear things on the radio and we can take those things and apply them to our lives and we can find the spiritual God in it as well. So that's this one. And then I have the other one. It's called God Be Knowing. It's by her as well, by the same author, Dr. Laura Elise Groom. And it's 365 devotions for people who are as undefeated as Al Green's internet. <laughs> so that is really, really good. Um, so this is this is this is really good. So if y'all have these, let me know down in the comments what you think. I ordered these both from Amazon. Good devotionals because I want to really commit to um, you know just um, really meditating more and focusing more and realigning and getting things into uh, proper perspective so that I can keep moving 
forward. As I told you, my channel, um, I want everything to be lined up. My channel, all of my socials, my life really. And I want my socials to be reflective of my life. Now, granted, I'm not going to be showing everything. I'm not, you know, I'm just not that one that's going to show you every nook and cranny of my life. But what I do show you, it's going to be the authentic me and it's going to be um, what I truly want to represent, which is a life that is lived abundantly. A life where I experience joie de vivre every day, the joy of living every day. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to have me a little bit of joy of living in just a few minutes. I have been wanting sushi for so long. I mean, I have been telling my husband about sushi probably for the last, I don't know, week or two or three probably and so uh i'm gonna finally get me uh sushi tonight we have a uh place here called raw and they have really good sushi sashimi nigiri they have all of it all the things and it's it's really good so i am going to order takeout and enjoy that for the night After dinner, I did my every night nighttime routine. And so basically what I do is I um, take my wig off. I've already done that and it's really easy to take off because I don't use any glue or anything like that. And I tie my hair up after I've put on any oils or moisturizer. Then I'm gonna take this Clinique, take the day off. You've seen me use this before. Um, I'm out of my I take the day off. I'm using my act my travel uh, container because that's all I have left. I'm gonna have to run to the store and get some more. But this is perfect for taking your makeup off. I don't use uh, makeup cleansing wipes because they don't seem to really get the job done. But this um, take the day off cleansing balm. I mean, it melts the makeup off like butter. I mean, it just completely melts the makeup away. So that's the first step. I'm gonna put this on um, and rub this all over my face, even into my hairline a little bit because sometimes, you know, makeup gets there. And so I'm gonna do that first. And then I'm going to um, add some water to this and this will um, become milky white as you add the water. Um, to it.
After I've used the cleansing balm to kind of remove uh, a good portion of the makeup, I then go ahead and wash my face and I'm gonna use my clean and clear foaming facial wash. It is an oil-free facial wash. I've been using this uh, now for mm, probably 25 years or more. <laughs> I love it. It is an old faithful and um, it works really well on my skin. It doesn't cause any breakouts or anything like that. And so that's what I'm gonna use. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And now I'm just gonna pat my face dry and um, rub my eyes because the water was getting in them so I want to dry those really good and then um, after I do this I am going to use the Clinique um, eye makeup remover because if you know like I know that mascara especially if it is waterproof mascara it tends to not want to budge even with the best of makeup removers so the Clinique eye makeup remover is really really good I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it on one of my little Shiseido um, uh, cotton squares uh, I talked about those um, in a previous vlog I love those they're so soft and so I'm gonna put that on and gently wipe each eye until each cotton swab or cotton square um, is clean uh, after wiping my eye, you know, just to be sure that all of the eye makeup is removed, particularly the waterproof mascara and eyeliner. <laughs> night it took about three cotton swabs to get everything clean next I'm going to put on hand skins hyaluron skin essence and I'm going to use this in place of a toner this is an hyaluronic acid that gives your skin a really radiant and dewy glow it feels amazing going on I just I really really love this I got this in a boxy charm box and um, it's pretty pricey but just from my uh, using it, it I think it's worth every dime it is an amazing product and so I like to put this on every night and every morning when um, after I cleanse my skin and then the next thing I'm gonna do is use the Elemis eye cream and this is actually the Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. And I use it as an anti-wrinkle formula at night. This is a new product that I've been using here lately because you know, my, my skin is um, a bit more mature now because you know, I'm into my 50s. And so I try to take special care with the area around my eyes. As I always say, I've laughed a lot in my life. So I might have a few little laugh lines and that's okay. Uh, the Elemis is uh, a really good product to use. I like it. And I also like the Shiseido um, anti-wrinkle eye cream as well. Both of those are really good products to use. Okay, and the next two things that I'm going to use after I fix my camera is going to be the Radiance Perfecting Serum and the Overnight Recovery Serum. Both of these are by Pearl Essence, and I've been using these for a few years now as well. I love these. First, with the Radiance Perfecting Serum, this is a vitamin C and hyaluronic acid serum. It is really good for evening out skin tone, brightening, and the hyaluronic acid, of course, is 
a great moisturizer so I'm going to rub this uh, all over my face and neck and even down to my decolletage area I'm going to um, make sure that I get that blended in really well and then I'm going to go in with the overnight recovery serum which is rose oil and collagen um, which is also very good you know sometimes skin loses a bit of collagen so this is really helpful um, for that so I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna do the same with this as I did with my uh, radiance perfecting serum <laughs> Okay, and the last thing that I'm gonna use is my Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizer. This is probably my most favorite moisturizer. It is so light and it uh, is deeply, deeply hydrating. And it's what I use to kind of seal in all of the great products that I've uh, used previously. It is an amazing product. It can be used daily, morning and night and it will help my skin stay healthy looking and give me a really gorgeous, glowing, beautiful complexion. After that, I'm gonna take my Jade um, face facial roller and I'm going to just massage my skin. This roller is so cool and calming and it feels amazing on my skin. Now, I don't know if all the benefits of what this, of what they say this has is, is true or not, but I know it really feels good. <laughs> now it, it says that it's supposed to reduce the signs of aging and it's a great massage for your skin. Um, so we're, we're gonna see, I'm gonna keep using it. If nothing else, it just feels really good on the skin, that cool jade. Oh, it's amazing. If you don't have one, get you one, girls. You can get them at TJ Maxx even. And then I'm going to go in and take care of my lips. I'm going to use the uh, Seraphine Botanicals Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask. And this is a great uh, nighttime lip mask to uh, help with hydration and glow. And it's protective because, you know, hey, in the wintertime, nobody wants to see your cracked <laughs> red lips and this kind of keeps all of that at bay it feels really good it smells really good it's made with green apple and pineapple and it also has apricot jojoba and rosehip oils to keep the lips chap free And that'll do it for this week's vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you come back next week for another vlog. And make sure you're following me on Instagram where I post inspirational videos and reels every day. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.